This video is for educational purposes only and should serve as a warning as to the dangers of downloading files from the internet. Two years ago, we tested five remote installation keyloggers, and now they are all gone. Windows Defender has, for the most part, decimated keyloggers in general, especially remote installation keyloggers. There is only one left that I could find, and today we're going to test it by attempting a remote installation on ourselves. So let's check it out. The setup is pretty simple. Last time we tested, there were a lot of unethical options, such as exporting it to a PDF or a photo. I don't know what's changed since then, but Windows Defender has definitely made it harder to execute these types of viruses and trojans. Earlier, I tried to download the EXE version of the keylogger and it immediately set off my antivirus software, which is just basically built in Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Defender. Now I'm going to go with the zip file option and see what happens. I'm going to send it to myself just to see what comes out the other end. And here we go. When we click this, basically absolutely nothing should happen. The keylogger should be installed. And something happened. I don't know what this is, but what was supposed to happen was nothing. We'll log back into the control panel and see that there's nothing there. From experience, I know that the computer needs to be restarted, but what surprises me is that it's not mentioned anywhere in the installation guide. So I wasn't expecting to see the installation be successful. But now let's go ahead and restart the computer and see what happens. After restarting the computer, it looks like the installation was successful. There's not a lot there, so I'll go ahead and go about my normal work just to see how it goes. I went ahead and let it run as I went about my daily work. I also went out of my way to have some online chats and see what it was able to record. In summary, it did just about everything it said on the box, except for the alerts. I had input trigger alerts and they seemed to vanish even after I used the keyword alert phrase multiple times. The GPS location feature worked too well. It's basically got a map of my house and it updates every 30 minutes. So be very careful because if you get something like this on your computer, they'll have an update on where you are at all times. The copy paste feature worked as well. And that should also be a warning because I think most of us copy and paste our crypto wallet addresses and keys. The connection tab shows IP addresses and ports. I'm going to avoid clicking that as well because that can be problematic. But let's get to the keylogger itself. It did capture all my outbound messages, emails, chats, discord, and the like. But it was difficult to tell who the recipient was without using the screenshot report, which seemed to work pretty well. I was able to see all of my chats and recipients along with their responses after a bit of sorting. Not very convenient, but it wasn't so bad. Ultimately, I was surprised that my email provider detected no viruses in the zip file. And I tested multiple methods for sending the file as well. For some reason, they all worked. Now we'll test the uninstall feature, which I've never seen in another keylogger before.
Sadly, I've uninstalled this keylogger now several times with no success. So I'll probably have to do it by hand. If you want to test this out for yourself, there's a link in the description. And thank you for watching.